Portia, that's all I got to say. Portia, come get your fiance, baby daddy, however you look at him these days. Come get him, girl. It's trending. He's trending, and it's not in a good light. Yo, baby daddy is trending on radar online. Radar online and other social media forums style. They got him handcuffed, trying to get locked up for a four dollar sandwich that they say he didn't pay for. I can't make this up. <laughs> I just cannot make this shit up. Okay, where is all this stuff coming from? Is he is he swirling? Out of control. What is Dennis McKinley doing in these streets? Y'all can see Tamara Tattles got it. I, you know, got her little posting where she copied a video and tagged it with her name. Hopefully she won't get me for it, but it is here what it is, child. Dennis is handcuffed with the hands in the back like he committed a serious crime. <laughs> But it's all over a sandwich, y'all. And you can see he paid for the sandwich and some sodas or a soda. He got two sandwiches. So he was coming. This is what he said. He was coming from a doctor's appointment. Brother was hungry. He thought he would stop at this little eatery, get him some sandwiches, and be going about his business. Now, my thing is, how in the world did he get the sandwiches in his hand and then got arrested in the same token? I mean, did he go behind the scenes? Go behind the restaurant where the workers are working, putting the um the um purchases together and just take his sandwich. But then that wouldn't be right because he had a receipt showing that he had paid for a soda and two sandwiches. So he's saying he's being racially profiled. <laughs> That's what he says, y'all. But I don't know, because I tell you, I was finna get ready to go to bed and I'm like, what is Portia Williams' father, I mean, sorry, baby's father doing on social media and talking about he was handcuffed and the handcuffs was hurting his wrist? Lord, say it ain't true. But it is. I can't make this stuff up. I cannot make this stuff up. This happened on the 26th, okay? The 26th was when, y'all? Friday, okay? So I'm a little behind, but I wasn't searching for Oh, excuse me, stories to talk about, you know, I get them, I try to save them in my uh, phone or on my computer, and then when I have time to record, I go back and retrieve them, okay, but this just came across my feed, and it said 1.28 in the morning, okay, the wee hours in the morning of Sunday morning, God bless us, God bless us, all right, but let's go on and get into it, Radar, online, post it. Uh, the article on Mr. Dennis McKinley. Well, okay, it said it was posted on Saturday, which was the 27th. We're still a day behind either way. However you want to look at it, it was posted at 5.39 p.m. Don't know what time zone it was posted in. But it goes on to say, Dennis McKinley claims he was racially profiled and injured in bizarre incident. Okay. It goes on to say, Portia Williams, baby daddy. You know, they always got to use the Real Housewives of Atlanta to get that clout on in there to get people to try to read the story, okay? So they had to put her name in there. It goes to say, Portia Williams, baby daddy. Dennis McKinley has claimed that a cop roughly handcuffed and injured him after he was falsely accused of stealing a $4 sandwich. Not a $10 sandwich, but a $4 one, okay? <laughs> like, what kind of sandwich you eat, brother, that just costs $4, okay? I want a combo, and that need to be fries and a soda added to that $4 charge, okay? I don't know what kind of sandwich he eating that's $4, all right? But anyway, it goes on to say, Dennis, who has faced cheating rumors that have wrecked his relationship with the Real Housewives of Atlanta star, told his bizarre story with a video and photos on Instagram. So if anybody want to catch it live and in charge and in color, go to Work Wine, I'm sorry, Work Win Celebrate. All together, run together. Work, W-R-K, Win, W-I-N, Celebrate. C-E-L-E-B-R-A-T-E. That's uh, Dennis McKinley's... Um, Instagram account, you can see the footage is all over everything. You know, he ain't leaving in now. <clears throat> I mean, nothing left out. 
He gives you a whole play by play, blow by blow. He gives you the lady officer's badge number, her name. <laughs> if he could have gave you her address where she lived and her telephone number, he would have put that on blast too. But we're going to um, read and uh, let you hear while I read it to you what he wrote on his Instagram. Okay, and then we're going to try to get back to the article. But it's a long one. Oh, my goodness. He pretty a long one, honey. He said, yesterday I was accosted by a super aggressive Emory police officer. Her name is Beth Wash. Badge number 215. Okay, so if you ever run into her, just know she already got Dennis McKinley on the lockup. And he shouldn't take him to jail. Just embarrass him in a public place, a public forum. Okay. He's saying that this lady officer racially profiled him, falsely accused him of stealing a $4 sandwich. He said, I had a receipt which could have easily ended her inquiry. There was a cashier that could have easily verified that I paid for everything I had. There were a number of easy resolutions that could have de-escalated the unnecessary racial profiling and my detention by this officer. Instead, this Emory police officer chose to abuse her power. She chose aggressive women. She chose aggression over common sense. She put her hands on her weapon. She puts her hands on me. She publicly humiliated me falsely. <laughs> falsely now. And wrongfully accused me of stealing a sandwich and placed me in handcuffs so tight that she caused injuries to both of my wrists. I'm like, come on now. Did she break a bone, honey? Did she break a bone? Was your hands too big? And when she went, her client, it just cut up with, you know, close to some meat or whatever. I don't know. Okay, I don't know now. Dennis, what's going on? Okay, that was my pun intended. Not in that art or not in his um, email transmission. He wanted everybody to know about. Okay. So we go on. He said um, the, the handcuffs was too tight for him, injuring his wrist. So he wants some monetary pain and suffering compensation going on. This is what he wants, y'all. All right, but moving back on. He said um, she was wrong. She profiled me. She gave no apology. She just went on about her bitch. She blamed me for the entire situation. It was disgusting. I couldn't have been the I could have been the next hashtag because she was that aggressive. I went to see my doctor for a routine visit at the Emory Healthcare, Emory Hospital, stopped to grab a sandwich, and this is what happened. It happens to us everywhere at any time for any reason. I can't let this go. He said, This is not okay. I've retained counsel Michael T. Sterling and wait a minute, D. Ryer Sterling. LLC. Now we can add going to the doctor or buying a sandwich while black to list the to the list of things we cannot do. Okay, he said hashtag Emory University, hashtag Emory Healthcare, hashtag Emory Police Department, uh, hashtag going to the doctor while black, hashtag buying a sandwich while black, hashtag racial profiling. Excuse me. Uh, Sally's sandwich. Okay, was it a sat? What's the company he was trying to buy a sandwich from? They got accused of uh, him stealing that four dollar sandwich. <laughs> Sally's sandwich. Since he hashtagging that, I'm like, honey, are you sure they didn't arrest you for something else dealing with uh, child support on somebody else or? Some other um, story that just hadn't broke out on you yet. Because, honey, you've been in the news negatively anyway. Now you want to say, okay, this happened. Not saying it didn't happen because it could happen. And, you know, people of color do get racially profiled. But, you know, if you were up in the Emory area, it's a lot of, you know, brown people walking around there. So I don't know. It's more to the story, Dennis. It's more to it than what you're telling us. All right. Did you go over there and try to be privileged? Did you go over there trying to say, well, y'all should give me this sandwich free because, you know, my um girlfriend or, or fiance, you know, I don't know, we still pending with that. Uh, Portia Williams, y'all, you know, what you trying to drop celebrity status over there, but it, it wasn't you that was the celebrity. It was your fiance, girlfriend, your, uh, what do you call it? 
Yo, we say baby daddy, so it's like baby mama. Did, were you trying to do some clout chasing over there, Dennis, at that sandwich shop called Sally Sandwich? I don't know, Dennis. I don't trust. I ain't trusting you right now. It's kind of, you know, it is really kind of, you know, how we can say uh, suspicious. All right. But going back to your article, when we finish your little dissertation or that you put out for us to read or whatever. Who you were long-winded, very long-winded with that email or that uh, transmission over Instagram trying to put your story out there. It would be better if you would have talked to a blogger <laughs> and had your little, you know, story set on tape, video, so we could, you know, make it go viral or whatever in case somebody in the Emory Police Department is racial profiling. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying you didn't do good. You should just went to a blogger. Shoot, you could have got, you in Atlanta, you could have got a heck of a lot of us here. All right, if not me, Dale Chanel's Four Days World. You got Forrest Rocks out there. You got uh, Nate Rob. You got uh, shit. I think Tasha K is in Atlanta uh, right now. I mean, it's a lot of people you could have reached out to. Hey, you could have got rid of me. I think Jasmine Brand is down here. Hell. I mean, you could have you, you could have did much better than what you did by putting it on your own. Uh, and I don't even know who was helping videotape because it was so blurry. It was very blurry. You know, if they didn't indicate who you was in the story and all that, I still can't tell you uh, is that you getting locked up or got, got the handcuffs behind your back. <laughs> and it seemed like it's a man behind uh, who's handcuffing you, not the female. She walking around trying to handle her business in other areas. I I'm not really sure. I'm not know what's going on. These pictures are kind of fuzzy, but we get the gist with your um, letter you pretty much wrote to us on Instagram explaining the situation. But anyway, um, it goes on to say yesterday I was accosted by Sue. Okay, we got that. We got that. My name is Walsh, bash number 215. Okay, we got that. Oh, Lord. And, you know, Radio Online is just pretty much reiterating what he wrote in his little Instagram post, um, saying the same thing, said the father partial uh, child wrote, I can't let this go. This is not okay. I've retained counsel for parent legal actions. I'm like, is the hot dog stand or the hot dog company going under? Do you need revenue such as that? I mean, what's going on, brother? You own 2000 on this thing. But, you know, hey, if it really was true, I'm like, fight the power, brother. Fight the power. Uh, Radar said they contacted the Emory Police Department for comment and is awaiting response, meaning Emory is not returning no calls. They probably won't return any calls, all right? Uh, then it goes in to say, you know, trying to beef up uh, something that's not even relevant anymore, whether Portia will be with him in the future, you know. Um, Dennis even told U.S. Weekly, these false and slanderous allegations against me are made solely to damage my reputation, jeopardize my ongoing businesses, and negatively impact my family. Meaning what all the bloggers and newscasters have said about him in these streets, okay, in social media platforms about him and Portia, and he doing all this stuff behind Portia's back, you know, having sex with animals, allegedly, and having all these other women while he's called himself engaged to Portia, allegedly. And, you know, it's just a lot of stuff. And he's trying to blame everybody. No, why don't you take some of the blame off of us and put it on yourself? Because we wouldn't have nothing to talk about, per se, if you didn't have us, to, uh, if you didn't give us anything to talk about that was scandalous and slanderous, okay? So it is what it is, Dennis. Pick your battles. What Are you going to fight? For the power of a black man being oppressed and, and racially profiled, or well, you're gonna fight the bloggers on misinformation that they're giving and uh, disseminating out there in the world at large. Which one? Which battle are you gonna fight, my brother? Okay. But anyway, it goes on to a lot of stuff about past stuff with him and Portia about you know he giving her this uh 750 thousand diamond engagement ring and she don't stop wearing it and um he's wishing her a happy birthday and this that and the third we don't care about this because this story was about you and being racial profiled okay dennis i hope everything turns out my brother and you fight that power if it isn't truthfully that this officer walsh 
had took you to the cleaners and tried to, you know, take you to jail on something frivolous as not paying for a four dollar hamburger, okay? And you putting everybody on blast far as the the Sally um, Sandwich Shop, the Emory Hospital, the Emory Police Officers. I mean, you going in all different kind of ways, honey. You don't went three ways in this story. So I'm like, yes, you probably do need the secret representation <laughs> because if it ain't true, brother, they're going to be coming after you more than likely. But that's all I have for this video. Hope y'all enjoyed it. I am going to bed. It is 1.41 a.m. in the wee hours. Sunday morning. I gave y'all the best that I had. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. And I'll see you next time for another one. Okay. God bless. Help and be peaceful in your minds and in your relationships. All right. Peace out. Bye-bye.